Hi, I'm Rose Liu and I'm a lead development engineer at Tintree. Today we'll explore some features on Tintree storage to help us maximize capacity savings. On modern flash-based storage systems such as hybrid or all-flash, thin provisioning is required to get the capacity efficiencies from features such as compression and data deduplication. Whereas traditional disk-based storage systems may have seen performance benefit using thick provisioning, modern flash-based systems perform optimally regardless of thick or thin provisioning. Therefore, it's best to use thin provisioning. However, the challenge is that in a large virtual infrastructure, it's difficult to keep track of which VMs are thick or thin provisioned. For example, when VMware VAAI is installed, when we create a new virtual disk from vCenter, the default setting is thick provision lazy zero. Also, when we initiate a storage vMotion or create a VM from a template, the default setting is to keep the same disk format as the source, which can easily be thick provisioned. And once a disk is thick provisioned, it's difficult to convert it to thin provisioned. Tintree makes it very easy to ensure that all virtual machines on Tintree storage are thin provisioned to make sure that we get the maximum capacity savings. Let's take a look. Here, we are on the Tintree VM Store dashboard. Let's open the space breakout. We see that we are using about 102 gigabytes of physical space. The yellow shows us how much of this used space is due to thick provision VMs. And they're using about 80 gigabytes of space. This tells us that we can potentially get more space savings if we convert them to thin provisioned. So first, we need to find all the thick provisioned VMs. Let's go to the VMs page and filter by provisioning type. So we want thick. So we see that we have five thick provisioned VMs. Let's convert them all to thin provisioned. Note that the conversion can be done on running VMs without disrupting the I.O. For example, we see here that these VMs are doing about 7,000 IOPS each. And you can see the real-time IOPS of this VM. Now, before we convert them to thin provisioned, let's take a note of the current space savings. Let's go back to the dashboard. Currently, the system is seeing about 1.6x total space savings, where 1.3x is coming from dated compression and 1.2x is coming from deduplication due to cloning. Now, let's make all these VMs thin. And that's done. Now let's go to our dashboard again. So now we see that we no longer have space consumed by thick provision VMs. No more yellow. Notice that our original space savings was 1.6x, and now it's increased to 3.1x. And we're getting about 2.4x from compression and 1.3x due to deduplication from cloning. Now, if we'd like all future VMs provisioned on the VM store to be thin provisioned, so we don't have to convert them after the fact, Tintree allows us to do this by setting a global VM store-wide policy. To do this, let's go to Settings. Select Space Savings. And here we want to maximize space savings by ignoring the VMware VAAI thick provisioning requests. By selecting this, it ensures that all VMs provisioned on Tintree will be thin provisioned. And let's click Save. And we're done here. To recap, Tintree makes it very easy to ensure that all virtual machines on Tintree storage are thin provisioned. We provide a very easy way to figure out which of your VMs on Tintree are thick provisioned. And we give the capability to dynamically convert the thick provisioned VMs to thin provisioned without disrupting IOs on running VMs. Also, with the global VM store setting, we make it easy to ensure that future VMs provisioned on the Tintree storage are thin provisioned. If you'd like to learn more about Tintree's VM-aware data management features, please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.